Good morning, everybody. So I am starting off this vlog looking very not cute. Someone asked me to film a day in the life video, so that is what I am doing today. Maple, I am in LA and I was debating like, should I film this like when I'm back to like my regular life living in Vegas? But I've done like my morning routine and my nighttime routine there already. So I figured I was like, eh, like why don't I just switch it up a little bit and film this? Maybe this would be interesting, hopefully. I don't really know. But I'll just take you through what a typical, I guess, like weekend looks like here. So yeah, I guess if you want to see what that's like, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I post. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the vlog. First things first, gotta greet the chillets. We've got the Werther's here, as you know, and that's Muffin. Muffin, hi. Muffin is my parents' kitty. See Muffin. Hi. She's like in heat right now, so. Then I'm going to wash my face. This is my morning face cleanser. Um, this is a product I've talked about on my channel for years. Um, and I actually bought a bottle here in LA too. So this is great. It's the Yes to Cucumbers Soothing Gentle Milk Cleanser. Okay, and because I am legally blind, I am going to put on my contacts. Look, literally blind without my contacts. So, I am putting these bad boys in. And then here is where I keep my skincare in LA, like my products and stuff. So, a couple of these things I brought over from Vegas. A lot of the stuff is either backups that I bought so I could have here, like the Kate Somerville, um, or things that I deliberately bought like while I was here. So like the ST Cucumbers moisturizer. So in the morning time, I like to spritz my face with the herbivore green tea jasmine water toner, or I'll actually use the new Dr. Britt one that I um, showed in my boxy charm unboxing, which I'll link above and below. And then I like to mix a little bit of this Ren Clean Skin um, Mineral SPF, always a mineral. And then I'll mix that with the cucumber um, moisturizer, just because like even though this is mattifying and I have oily skin, it can pill and it doesn't spread as easily. So I like to have a little bit of moisture. Um, and then I will finish things up with the Mad Hippie eye cream as well. And then also can't forget the scar gel for my little friend up here. <laughs> and also the Kopari deodorant as well. This is one of my favorite deodorants. It's aluminum free. Oh, but I also brought this to use. This is the Ordinary um, Azale Azaleic Acid Suspension. I use this as kind of like my treatment. So really the order will be toner and then add a little bit of this and then mix these two. And yeah, it seems like a lot, but honestly it's, it's really not. So I'm gonna apply these and then I will see you after. This is my outfit for today. It's very basic. It's just a long sleeve and then yoga pants. I made my bed and now I am going to grab my book and head downstairs to read, um, give maple breakfast. And then also I am actually going to go pick up a coffee because, you know, support small businesses. Also because I always get an Alfred coffee every time I come to LA and I've been in LA for about a week now and I haven't had, I've been making my own coffee every day with my espresso, which is really, really amazing. But I was like, you know what, Sunday, why don't you treat yourself? So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, everybody, we are back in the car. I sanitized my hands. I just got my coffee from Alfred Coffee at Beverly Hills. And I will literally make a trip. Like, I've loved Alfred ever since I, I grew up here. So I love it. And I know it's like kind of, um, what's the word? Basic, slightly pretentious. But honestly, their coffee is really good. So 
I love it. They're just known for their ice vanilla latte, and I get that every single time. Sometimes with oat milk, sometimes not. But this is much needed. Um, and yeah, I just figured now I kind of just want to like go on a drive. Um, I obviously don't live in LA anymore, but I do love going on drives, like even in Vegas. Like I just love doing it, especially um with you know COVID happening in the pandemic we can't really do that much but sometimes it's important to just clear your head and just go on a drive see different parts of the city see different things just get some new perspective um and then return to what you need to do and today's sunday so it's honestly just gonna be a chill day um honestly probably when i get home i'll probably like edit a video maybe play some music work out check some emails in preparation for the next week um and get that stuff started but yeah that's pretty much what i'm gonna be doing and maybe i'll show you some of the places but i'll be driving so i don't really know but um yeah let's go ahead and do that <laughs> very interesting kind of atypical day in my life but this is like a day in the life COVID edition LA edition Okay, hi guys, it's been a few hours. I actually, after my drive, um, I actually met up with a friend and we went on a long walk. So I got my steps in, which was great. And we just talked and, you know, um, did a nice walk. And that was actually like, those are the clips that you just saw. Um, but now I am back at my parents' house with Wietty. I'm probably gonna take her on a walk a little bit later. Um, but right now I'm set up, I'm gonna read a little bit. This is a very chill day. I was gonna work out, but then I like got my workout and my, my walks. I'm just like, hmm, do I need to work out again? I don't know. But I actually think I'm gonna try to edit um, another video that I filmed yesterday and do some like online shopping for like Black Friday, Cyber Monday. I'm sorry, the lighting is so weird. The shadows are all messed up. This is better. Um, but yeah, this is very chill. Um, just kind of like a reset. Kind of have a little bit of the Sunday scaries because I took a week off from work last week um, and tomorrow I'll be working again. So um, just kind of mentally getting myself in the zone for that. But I just, bottom line, really want to just chill and you know, have good, nice, relaxing rest of the day. And I love sitting outside. It's like a really nice day. Yeah. Hey. And um, she loves going after the birds and squirrels. But yeah, I'm just gonna chill here and I'll see you guys um, in a little bit. <laughs> oh, look, oh, 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 can you guys see her? Yes, yeah, sweetie? You see a bird? Hello, everybody. So it is now many hours later. It's about 6 p.m. Um, at Stark right now. I spent the afternoon um, editing a video and I actually got some Christmas shopping done online, which is really, really cool um and yeah i'm gonna actually shower and then i guess show you like my nighttime skincare routine here while i'm like here because it obviously is a little bit different from like my normal skincare routine in vegas because the products are slightly different um and then um i think i'll be eating dinner i think my mom's making some food i don't know if she is yet but i think that's the situation and then we'll take weary on a walk which weary my dog sorry maple <laughs> Okay, so we are out of the shower, clean, I washed my hair, it was my hair washing day. And now let's get on with my nightly skincare routine. So I, last night went in with my facial radiance pad from First Aid Beauty, which has glycolic acid, it's like an exfoliating pad. So I'm not gonna do that today. Normally I go in and tone, but um, I honestly don't have another toner here besides the herbal one and my Dr. Brent one. So I'm just gonna squirt a few spritz of the Dr. Brandt antioxidant spray toner. And then on top of that, and then this is like the most basic thing because typically I will either go in with my Kate Somerville and then like this Yes To uh, cream that I mentioned earlier in my morning skincare routine. But honestly, on days here where I don't do that, like every other night, I'll just go in with the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow AHA Resurfacing Serum. And this is probably my favorite AHA serum of all time. And I have found that my skin doesn't need a moisturizer on top. Like it has honey and it has hydrating properties to hydrate your skin. Now, of course, if you have dry skin, you might want to go with something additional on top. But for me personally, I find that one pump 
on my oily skin just goes a long way. Oh, let me just block that. And I'll just literally put all over my face as like a night moisturizer. You don't want to apply AHAs in the daytime because it can, unless you go on with sunscreen, but it can really like increase your skin sensitivity to the sun and then you can burn. That's why they say like this is a night product, but this is great for texture, for congested skin, for hormonal skin, which I have all of the above. <laughs> and yeah, this is great. It's really, really hydrating. This consistency is really, really nice. And that's pretty much all I'll do on the face. And then for my eye cream again, I'll just go in with the Mad Hippie eye cream. This is such good stuff. And I'll just to use my ring finger and dab. Okay, and then honestly, the last step I do is just apply my scar gel for my scar right here. Just like that, and I'll just rub it all over. I do this twice a day. Um, sometimes at night, I'll go in with a silicone gel like directly on top of my scar, but honestly, like I just finished mine. The adhesive kind of wore off because I'd been wearing it for a week at night, so I threw that away, and I don't have any more here because they're in Vegas, so I'm just using my gel. I'll just kind of rub that in ever so gently but thoroughly all over. And then I'll actually apply a little bit on my scar right here as well. I've been learning to embrace my scars. You know, um, Pharrell has always said that which makes you different makes you special. Um, and I completely agree because we're all not all cookie cutters and you know, our definitions of beauty are all different. Um, and you know, my scar kind of annoys me sometimes, but I'm kind of like, it's kind of cool, you know? So yeah, I'm learning to embrace it more and more every day. But now I am just going to chill a little bit, maybe check in with my parents, eat, help them if they need, whatever, all that stuff, hang out with my dog. And then I'll probably see you either at dinner or after when we take um, Mabel for her nightly walk. Okay, so it is now 9 p.m. and my dad and I are about to take my dog for our nightly walk. And it's cold, do you ready to in our jacket? Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's get our leash. Hi, we got in our jacket. Stunning. My dad's behind the camera. Dad, say hi. Hi. <laughs> Two hours later. Okay, everybody, it is now 11 p.m., which means we have reached the end of the day. It is bedtime. I have an early day, well, early-ish day ahead of me tomorrow. Um, first day back at work after a week. So, yeah, um, thank you guys so much for hanging out and watching. Hopefully you found it kind of interesting, entertaining, and obviously this is not like my typical everyday, like, work kind of, like, life, just because, like, I work at, like, a nine to five, and. I just figured that wouldn't be interesting to show you because it's just me sitting at my computer. So I just figured I would make a little bit more of like an adventure, like what I do when I'm in LA kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you in my next one.